Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and things seem to be cooking in the markets. This is CoinPaprika.com that you're looking at. I'm going to do a refresh on that. Looks like our overall market cap is $207 billion. We have crossed the 200 mark. Um, as I've said many, many times before, this is only the beginning. We're in the last bull run. We got a, around to around 830 billion. This thing is is going way into the trillions. And so, even though this is exciting, this is really actually absolutely nothing. But it is kind of fun to watch after a long uh, bear market. But I wanted to just kind of go over kind of what's happened in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin's up 7.48%. You see Ethereum and also Ripple is on the move, which or XRP, I'm sorry. Um, just about everything is doing quite well. Cardano is doing really well. Litecoin is doing really well. Um, and then if you look at, let's look at the return rates for the last one quarter. Now look at this. One, for one quarter, Bitcoin is up 86%. Uh, now, you should begin to see some major, major FOMO uh, fear missing out. For those of you, that, of you that don't know, you should be you should begin to see a lot of fear missing out in mainstream media outlets now, and <clears throat> I'm expecting it. I'm also expecting this to be the one digital asset in the next few months that completely breaks out and goes nuts. <laughs> I think XRP is is just, I mean, if anything is primed to explode, XRP is. Okay, next, I want to show you this from XRP Crypto Wolf. Um, the UK, UK government-led jurisdiction team launched a public consultation to define status of crypto under English private law. The consultation period will last until June 2nd, also inviting the public to an event to discuss consultation questions on June 4th. Once this is closed and analyzed, the United Kingdom Jurisdiction Task Force will release a legal statement in late summer. After the statement is published, the authorities will evaluate whether any legislative change is necessary or appropriate. The United Kingdom uh, Task Force um, started preparing an author authoritative legal statement on the status of crypto assets and smart contracts under English private law to identify the key legal questions in the field and to provide a basis for mainstream utilization. This is very good stuff right here. We're getting um, some, some regulatory clarity over there in, in England, and I'm hoping that this same thing is going to happen sooner rather than later in the United States. Um, okay, then there was this from the Rippening at the underscore ripening he's he's a great guy in the in the xrp community and this is more peter schiff uh news he says peter schiff is such a stubborn man now in this inter interview this is with max kaiser who is a bitcoin guy and a really smart guy peter schiff's a really smart guy but i am just i'm i'm really saddened by how peter schiff is ignoring the facts of what's going on. And this video is a really good illustration of that. Uh, Max Kaiser literally says, well, you do know that uh, Fidelity, Fidelity is opening up a crypto trading platform imminently. And Peter Schiff says, no, they abandoned plans for that. And I, I, I saw this and it, it really, I, I love Peter Schiff and I love what he stands for. I love how he explains how central banks have, have destroyed our money and how it's all a Ponzi scheme and will eventually come to an end. Uh, I love how he talks about gold and silver. He's right about gold and silver, but he's wrong about digital assets. And I, as I said yesterday, digital assets would be the ultimate complement to his gold and silver and precious metals business. And I just can't believe that he hasn't seen that yet. But as I said, I now own Shift Digital Assets. Uh, dot com and that is his domain name for one Bitcoin whenever he's ready to, to uh, claim it 
I will not sell it to anyone else. Um, but just so you know, he said that Fidelity did Fidelity has abandoned their crypto plans. Well, if they have, they haven't taken down FidelityDigitalAssets.com because this is the website. That's why ShiftDigitalAssets.com has such a great ring to it, and it will match his ShiftGold.com. Um, next, and, and here's another, I just wanted to show this to Peter Schiff as well. Bitpanda offers gold and silver trading options along with cryptocurrencies. What an idea. It would be the li literally the ultimate compliment to Schiff Gold to have Schiff Digital Assets. I can see it in lights right now. <laughs> come on, Peter. You're a good guy and you're a smart guy. Come come talk to me. We'll, we'll work it out. Um, <clears throat> all right. Next, um, lover of all crypto, please retweet. Fact, and I've, I've talked about this a lot over the, over the last few months, but this is so true. Those of you that were not, did not participate in the 2017 bull run need to hear this. Fact, in 2017, XRP stayed at 25 cent, in the 25 cent range through the entire bull run until December the 12th. 24 days later, XRP was at $3.50. Keep in mind that on December 12th, BTC, Bitcoin, all, was already up to $17,000 when only a month earlier, November 12th, BTC was at $5,500. Let me see if he's gotten it. Yeah, he just copied some people on this. And then this tweet is a good follow-up to that from Crypto Utility Guy at Utility Guy 7. And this is I've seen this since 2013 when I got into this game. This is the way it has happened every single time. Bitcoin's surge to higher prices will cause people to look at Ethereum and XRP. Then people will learn XRP is the greatest digital asset ever created. Then we will see the FOMO. Um, then XRP will surge. So let them all talk about Bitcoin as they will ultimately finish up with XRP. It happened to me. It happened to you. It happens to everybody. Event, the entry into the door is what they first heard of, which is Bitcoin. I remember uh, during the last bull run, I remember sitting with my, my brother-in-law uh, in, in uh, Savannah, Georgia. And I, I remember sitting at a bar with him and, and he was telling me, oh yeah, I bought some of that Bitcoin stuff. It was a big nothing. And I said, well, have you heard, heard of XRP? And he had no idea. That's what will happen because, I mean, this is the smart people will eventually find their way to XRP. That's just the way it works because it makes the most sense when you really sit down and look at these. On the front end, when you first start investing, all you do is you go to Bitcoin because that's what everybody's talking about. That's what they've heard of. But when you really start thinking it through, after when you're sitting there staring at your Bitcoin, you end up in XRP because everything about it makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> Next from Brian Melancholy XRP at Mike Honcho underscore 11 sent me this. Um, this is now this is remember yesterday Coin Center had tweeted this out where Representative Congress Congressman Rep sorry Representative Sherman in Congress he had called for a, a bill to ban all cryptocurrencies and we went through a list of his donors much of which were banks. Well, Warren Davidson, who is one of the sponsors of, of the Token Taxonomy Act, which is good for crypto, he tweeted this out and he tweeted the video. He said, blockchain, I don't think he favored banning the internet, but in reality, the token enabled blockchain economy is happening and, and the USA is losing ground to countries that have provided legislative certainty. Meanwhile, anarchy is not a solution. We need hearings ASAP. So this guy is a good guy. He's, he's being very pro um, crypto and he's, he's one of the good guys in this. And he, I think he was pretty respectful to Representative Sherman considering how stupid the video was that he did. <laughs> um, okay, and next, uh, this was, I thought this was good from XRP veteran, at XRP underscore veteran. Um, in 2015, they said XRP is a scam. 2016, they said it's centralized. 2017, XRP can be frozen. 2018, XRP is a security. And remember, this one is, I had started my channel during this time. This one, when it came out, I'll never forget it because a guy, I can't remember his name, but he was retired from the SEC and literally came out of retirement, walked to a podium and said that, um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, he thinks, are not securities, but XRP, he feels like, is a security. 
And I don't think we've ever heard from the guy again. <laughs> I mean, talk about somebody who had to have been paid. I mean, that's the only thing that, that makes any sense is what, why would this guy come out of nowhere to say something like that and then disappear back into retirement or whatever. Um, and then in 2019, XRP is a stable coin. That's what they've been saying recently since it hasn't moved. Well, it wasn't moving in 2017 until it was. And then 2020, what will they say about us next? I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and tell your friends and family that right now XRP is just a stable coin until it blasts off. Thank you for listening.